So, hello. I'm going to be showing you how, how to make a mob farm. Very easy, very simple. So, first, you need any kind of building block. If you're building this in survival, I would recommend using cobblestone or wood. Well, not wood. Maybe cobblestone and wood. So, first of all, dig out a platform right here. It's like, it kind of looks like a plus sign. Now, you kind of come down here. You build it, you like stack your blocks up high, about 27 blocks. One, two. I'll skip through this part so you guys don't, so uh, the video would go faster. So now I've built in um, the 27 block, I built 27 blocks up high. You can see it from down here. I'll spare you the time. Now, just create a square around here. Just a normal square. So I build it. It should look like a, about like a five by five square. Oh no, it actually, it's actually a seven by seven square. Because a seven by seven square, then be big enough to spawn mobs. In. the side again you fly up here it should look just about right but it still have a long we still have a long way to go before this is uh, actually done So let's look, let's count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, it's totally a seven by seven. I've counted. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's exactly a seven by seven. If you want to make it an eight by eight, I would recommend making it a little bigger. It depends on how much how big of a chest you have down there but for this sake i'm gonna build an 8 by 8 by 8 because i'm in creative mode huh. if you're in survival ma mode make a 7 by 7 square but just for the fun you know 8 by 8 is gonna be the right choice here I'm almost done with this. And just one last here. So next you stack it up two blocks high. And then just, you know, make a wall here. If you need to. I started off by doing this. And building like small the four pillars before i do anything makes it a lot whole lot easier and i just go back fill it up very easy Okay, so now I'm just gonna do the bottom ones, and yeah. Very hard to make. <laughs> that was, that, that was, that was bad. I'm gonna fill it up here. So I've done now done walls. Now let's start doing the roof. But before we do the roof, so 
First place on torches. One in each corner. So the mobs don't spawn when you place on the roof. So once you're done with that, you get smooth quartz. Place it down here. And then to save more blocks, I would recommend doing this. Placing one down here and then just doing that. So it, it's kind of like floating in the air. And then build your After you build like the outline, just keep on going inside. After this, I'll show you the hopper and how you have to build it. It's very simple. I think you've seen a lot of videos on this. If you like guys get at least like five likes, like yeah, five likes on here, I will do a red I'll do something I'll do a redstone lamp function or a flying machine yeah I, I, I want if you guys get five likes I'll do a flying machine which has redstone in it and I'll sh show you it all okay now since you have one hold left here all you have to do is cover this up now you have torches in here so mobs won't spawn like eventually so now all you need to do is build an infinite water source somewhere up here but since i'm in creative i could just go get a water bucket now i have a water bucket now i get one and once you take out one get the torch back so make sure you go here and also have a torch in your hand always so mobs you don't accidentally take out a torch and everything falls and breaks so now take out all the torches in the corners and place them in a different place than the corners so we're going to place water down there now once you get this place one down here down here down here and down here okay down here and down here and since I think these are these torches are breaking put them right here and right here make sure you're not in a very dark place because if you are then that's bad get the first one and down here oh I, did, I actually messed that up so I'm just gonna place a block down there place it below and there now that's perfect so before we do anything So before you, this is good. If you're in survival mode, I would not recommend this, but it's kind of a risk. So go down here and immediately press the block, and then fly back up. Once you do that, try, um, you should have signs in your inventory. I spelled that wrong. You can use any kind of sign, doesn't really matter to me much. And once you get a sign, you go back up, and then you do a count one, and then two. You just type in done. You just need one, okay? Once, you, once you're done with that, you can take out the block underneath from there. Once you do that, just get, just get out of here, get the smooth quartz zone, and make sure you place down torches on top of here so mobs will spawn. And for that, I am going to show you a different way, with a different thing in this video. Just keep watching. So now, we go all the way to the bottom.
sure these mobs don't spawn. Make sure it's not so the mob is coming in here easily. Make sure you're doing that. Push this back to the Okay. So let's do that. Very easy now. Just get, I need light, so I'm gonna put that torches down here. I'll get make a hole. Choose sure three, three blocks, and then now you go to your inventory and take the hall. It should pop up with a hopper right down here. And then we don't need torches anymore. And that get a chest. It doesn't really matters what chest you get. It should be a trap chest. Yeah, exactly a trap chest. We don't need this sign anymore. Okay. So I place it down here. Make sure the way it's facing. It should be facing. I'm gonna clear this out. So I can see better. Make a mini room here. The uh, dropping's gonna be right here. Connected to here. It's just the opposite way. So put on here. And get, get your smooth quartz stack right here. Facing this way. Go down here. And you're technically done. You can fill that up with any kind of block you want. I just did quartz because I really like the color of it. it. Looks fancy. Okay, once you do that, it should be connected right here. And it should look like this. And once you're done with that, this should be now filled in. And right here, there should be a chest, a trap chest. So once you're done with that, get quartz, smooth quartz. I would like to use it, smooth quartz. Put slabs down here. Make sure this is all covered. Because when they drop, they, it's going to splatter all over. So it must drop like directly inside here. And for that, you need a slab. Place it down right about here. So it can still open it, but all the drops won't fly out. And now all we have to do is build an entrance. That's easy. So. This is easy, really easy to make at, in a survival world. This is a, a basic, a very basic, simple way to build it. So I'm just gonna build this and yeah. So once you're done with that, very basic, very simple. It's exactly how you build it. And this is very easy. So this could come in handy if you need uh, a bow and arrow and many other things for crafting. For, for now, I'm just gonna sh make this, make the interior and not then, then we're done and we're gonna test it out. So right now I'm gonna do it very simple, very easy.
I'm telling you this because it is actually easy. Make sure you always close this up. This is the main part. Never leave this open. Come on, we're done. Now, just put a slide down here. That was wrong. That was bad. Door. Any kind of door you want. I'm going to do an iron door. And with that, I need pressure plates. Have you a pressure plate? Yep. That will work. So now, place this down. No, that was, that was bad. You can get smooth quartz for this up here. Now get an iron door, go inside. And now I'll get a pressure plate, place it down here. I did it backwards, didn't I? So, one by one. Yep, this is perfect. Now that didn't work out, so we'll just use a lever. Levers always work better in my perspective. And yeah, we're done. So now, if to make it easier, you can use a spawner to and place it up there for like, to spawn it even in the, in the daylight. So now we're done with this. Now here's something just a little bit extra like I have to show you. Instead of putting these lights up here, and so if you don't have a spawner, well, that is bad and good, and you don't really need this if you have a spawner in your thing. So I'm just gonna fill these places up. If you don't, then you can just go here and do a day light sensor, and get a bunch and a bunch a redstone. Stone lamps, yep. Yeah, I have it right here. This is a very strong sword. I don't know why I have it. I have, I'm just gonna place it on one. If you wanna place it on four or like two, you can do that. Now it's not, wait, well it's actually sun, so it will work. Now just, Actually, I'll take this off. Oh, I almost fell off there. That was that was pretty cool. Nice catch. done with this and I'll show you how to do this so it's kind of getting dark here but leave it dark because I need to show you now all you do is place some redstone lamps all around here make sure it's not on the redstone so now I've just built a giant circle around all around here. Now I just get a little more redstone down here, down here, down here, down here. That shut down really quick. Because there is no light anymore down here. Now if I do this, do this, do this. Make sure everything is lit up. This should be perfect. Now if you want to do more, there is more space I left here, so I'm gonna just do. Now 
day and enter. So then all these light up so you know it's not gonna work because mostly mobs don't spawn in the light. Now, since this ha is happening, you can just place them all around here. Make sure that they're mostly on the outside because you know you don't see them like every day. So now, this. Okay, that, that the corners might not just work, so you might want to remove them. That was fast. Make sure the redstone that you're using is in a circle. If it's not in a circle, it won't really work. done here so now if we'll go check inside here then I don't have make sure when you're opening this I have like slabs to cover it up so here so very so if you're in the survival or don't try to go inside here so now I'm all I have to do is get out of these switches before we do that if you want it to only work at night then you can go and find the middle this is the, probably the middle I have here. This is where the daylight sensor is. Break it, go up here. Wait. Actually. Okay, that, that was, didn't work with the daylight sensor. Once you're done with that, you can just place one back down here. So go E. I need quartz for this. E no, that don't work. Then go down here. If you don't want it to work only at night, this only applies for not working at night. All you do is go down, at, go down here, and do this, and get. Redstone, same thing down here, and smooth quartz, and that's basically it. And now everything's lit, up and here's the output of all we built today. So this might be leaking, and make sure. Make sure you have a torch on you at all times. So I'm going to use this torch right here in my inventory. Get torches. Make sure your torch you got below here because moths might spawn down here. And you don't want that to happen every time you go get something from your mob farm. So like this. This is a very enchanted sword. So I'm just going to one shot him so that's all and i hope you like the video bye and please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this more redstone videos and a, sur a, sur a survival series if you guys want